Welcome everyone to our prayer journey with my Toad Daily Devotion. Again, I'm continuing down the path of Psalm 119, and today we are on the 10th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It is the smallest letter in the Hebrew alphabet, considered almost like a comma, or it looks almost like a comma. I believe it is pronounced Yod, and it means to have total confidence in God to take him by the hand. It would be like Jesus said, Abba, Father, Daddy, Father, take me by the hand and guide me through life. So you can see the importance of Psalm 119 in God's word to understand things. Oh, Father, take me by the hand. I need to understand things. I need to know how to deal in relationships, in trials and in afflictions afflictions. I have these troubles. Lord, help me through this and be with me. This gives them full importance of the little insignificant mark that is required in the Hebrew text. Yet it is not one jot or tittle can be taken away from God's word. It is that important. In Matthew 5, 18, he shows the importance. Jesus says, not one jot or tittle will be removed from God's word. It will be fulfilled. Not even though it's a little kind of looking thing. It will be fulfilled. This gives you the importance of God's word in each and every letter of the alphabet of the Hebrew language, which is God's language toward people. It's a psalm of understanding. In verse 73, it says this, Thy hands have made me and fashioned me and give me understanding that I may learn from your commandments. Remember I said in the beginning here, understand things. I would know your commandments, then I would understand things. In Psalm 78 and 79, it says, Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without cause. But I meditate on your precepts. What I talk about before, relationships. Sometimes we have good relationships, and sometimes we have bad. And God shows us, takes us by the hand through each of those relationships, if we know his word and hide it in our heart, and he will show you what to do in each and every situation. My favorite is this one here. It's Psalm 119, verse 75. I know, O Lord, that the judgments are right, and thou in faithfulness has afflicted me. Sometimes we do not understand what God's doing. But in the affliction, we come out stronger. We can comfort others in affliction. I was just recently talking to a woman in a Bible study, uh, in a group Bible study, and I was bringing up some of the things that are going wrong in somebody's life. And she responded so quickly and said this, she will be able to comfort somebody else. And that is God's taking people by the hand and walking them through and bringing that right person to be with you when you're in need of that affliction. It says that other places in the Bible too. So hide God's word in your heart. This way you allow him to increase as we decrease. So until next time.